Hi Virgo, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-August general reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Virgo, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Virgo, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Virgo, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Virgo, how are you? Again, this is your mid-August general reading. Uh, and then we'll be in Virgo season. Yes, so we're super close. Your gorgeous season is right around the corner, so happy early birthday. All right, we've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Virgo? And y'all know the drill, please only take what resonates <clears throat> and leave the rest. All right, my loves, nice. Very Virgo vibe. Y'all have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck as your theme. This is Earth energy. Some of you could be dealing with some other Earth signs, other Virgos, Taurus, Capricorn. This is such a Virgo card. This is really hustling, uh, focusing on something detail oriented. Um, you really want something to get better. This is like, man, I'm super close. Um, is what I'm finish, Is what I'm hearing. I feel like you're super close to being done with something. If I just focus a little bit more, I'll get to that 10 of pentacles. You're super focusing on something. Also for some of you in your career life and work, family, I feel like others are also focusing, like like, like what is um, like family business coming together. There might be party planning, event planning. That's the vibe I'm getting, love it. Because Eight of Pentacles is very Virgo energy. It's like shining up in, like an old coin, okay? You're the energy of um, the Virgin, okay, uh, is Virgo energy. So it's like there's something maybe that needs a little reworking, needs a little elbow grease, if you will. And you're like, ah, there it is. That looks much better. Very good. Okay. <laughs> What's the current situation for Virgo, please? <clears throat> Two of Pentacles, okay, so you kind of have a lot on your plate right now. Notice in this uh, in this deck how large the Pentacles are. So this is like two big things going on right now with the full card. Um, I feel like you could have jumped into something or had a new opportunity to where you're like, my goodness, I'm so busy right now. There's not enough hours in the day. Two of Pentacles is like, I have so much going on in my career and in my, you know, family life, my love life. I'm I'm traveling, but I'm also, you know, running a business. Like you're you have a lot going on. You're a very busy body here. What's crossing Virgo? King of Wands, okay? We are in Leo season. A lot of you could be on that Virgo Leo cusp. Um fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. This is that masculine energy with the high priestess. Okay, I'm hearing silent moves, making a move here, okay? Um, hmm. You're trying to think about um, what's, you're prioritizing, which which pentacle, it's not that you're gonna drop one. one, one might need a little bit more focus right now than the other. Ah, eight of pentacles, so you're prioritizing right now your passions, king of wands. I feel like you're prioritizing right now because it's come, we're coming into your season. Like, you know what? I'm so good about being, being diligent, about being organized. You know, I'm always like doing, uh, doing the good job, doing the good work. And I feel like right now you're like, you know what? My birthday's coming up. It's my time. I'm going to start prioritizing King of Wands, fun things, fun activities, um, things like that. What is your focus, Virgo? Paraffin, a high level commitment. Some of you could be focused on a Taurus specifically. Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting for this. Yeah, I'm seeing keys here. You've been waiting to get the keys to something. There's strong duality here. In the recent past, there's been a lot of healing and something happened. I heard the word precious. Something precious happened and at the right time, King of Pentacles to you. Yeah, recent past Virgo, you're in your masculine energy. Some of you could have been or are dealing with a Sagittarian. 
I heard the word precious, like, like, oh, how precious. But you were at the right place at the right time. You saw like a pre precious message. I'm literally seeing like a cute family and you're like, oh, that's cute. But then precious. Something was, oh, so precious. Okay, we'll come back to that. What's in, what's crowning you, Virgo? Two of Swords, Empress. Some of you are trying to make a decision um, about a Divine Feminine. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Should I be a part of this or not? Should I be a part of this or not? You're trying to gather all your information still in your mind. You're like, you know what? I mean, I'm trying to make a decision, but I want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row here. Near future for Virgo. Eight of Swords with the Judgment. Okay, so there's going to be a decision made here in the near future. I feel like it's going to have your head spinning like, oh my gosh. What's your power, Virgo? To strike a new beginning. Ace of Wands. Okay, Four of Wands. So your power here is to... Um, Kind of go in here four of wands and sign up for something be in a commitment you're focused with the hierophant some of you could be focused on leveling up in a relationship and a commitment and work this is general um even though these are both usually like marriage and relationship cards this also applies in your career where you're like you know what i am going to add more creativity to my job to my career and that makes my day-to-day -day more fun i'm gonna i'm gonna choose to have fun even though I have to clock in and go to work today. That's very Ace of Wands, King of Wands. You're doing things that, are, that you're having fun. You're, you're doing things to where you're gonna have more fun. You're like, you know what? I know I still have to be responsible and I'm Virgo, but boom, I can make this more fun. I can add more color. I can add more glitter. I can add more pizzazz to, you know, something I'm already signed up for. I feel like you're just trying to add more spice to your life right now and I love that. What is hidden from Virgo? nine of wands three of swords someone uh with their walls up someone who's in pain what are your hopes and fears for things to get moving again okay so wherever there's been stagnancy um maybe had some unfortunate events you're like it's i'm ready i'm ready for my turn i think you're ready for good things to go in your favor of course for those of you that have had yeah there's been some slowing down there's been some delays in a situation i really hope feel like you're hoping for like come on let's go like i'm ready to get moving on this what's the outcome for virgo mid-august thank you spirit for these messages Ooh, people coming in we have the page of wands so younger fire sign um this is like just do it energy to me like yeah i'm just gonna do that i'm just gonna try that um, page, page of Wands, I feel, I'm hearing just try that. Some of you, Spice of Life. I feel like this seems so, um, this, this is how you start to change your life. It's like little things like this. You got to start somewhere. Some of you are like, I want to have more fun. I want to kind of get out of my, my same old, same old routine. Um, page of Wands is reminding me of like, I'm seeing some of y'all like, maybe you go to a restaurant all the time and you order the same thing. I order the same thing all the time and you're like you know what this time i'm gonna order something different i'm gonna order with the you know the chef special like whatever it is i don't know and you're like i'm gonna start applying that vibe that spice of life to everything in my life like <clears throat> i'm gonna try that new meal this time instead of going you know taking a right this way all the time i'm gonna go to work and go down this this path um you're just trying new little things to add more detail more color more flavor into your life and i love everything about that um you have the queen of swords the queen of wands and the knight of pentacles the page of swords i'm sorry the page of cups here um lots of people here lots of people around you lots of great ideas i do feel like this queen of swords and the queen of wands and you have the king of wands right here there is some kind of conversation coming up i love the queen of swords in this deck we can see all of her she's got that beautiful um flower or rose on her heart so i feel like this is a very loving conversation 
um, that's coming between a match here, a fire, could be uh, you and a fire sign, but two people that are very passionate towards each other. Um, King and Queen of Wands is also my twin flame couple, Knight of Pentacles. You're talking about things that you and someone might be doing together to add spice together down the road. Cause you're, you're starting to do more fun things. And I feel like someone's I'm hearing catching your drift. Someone catches your drift. Someone's like looking at you, nine of wands. They're a little guarded, but I feel like someone's kind of inspired by the new things that you're doing, the new actions that you're taking, because you know, you want to make some bigger moves, but you're doing the total, you're doing the total Virgo practical thing. You're like, yeah, I want to go boom, make that big move, but I'm going to be a Virgo and just do baby steps. I'm going to do page of wands first, then boom, 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 boom. I'm going to start. I want to start working out. I want to change my physical physique. Boom. Got to start somewhere. Join the gym. Okay. I want to start, you know, I want to start traveling. I want to start. I want to see the world. I want to take big action in doing that. Boom. Got to start somewhere. Got to book that trip. Got to buy that ticket. But you know what? You see what I'm saying? Like you're starting somewhere. You're starting to take action on things. I love this vibe for you. Right. And I feel like that's helping you right now Two of pentacles. You're very overwhelmed. And I feel like you're uh, coming up coming up with brilliant and very passionate, exciting ways to handle, you know, two of pentacles, like you have maybe two jobs or, you know, maybe you take care of a lot of people. Um, you have a lot of responsibilities. And so you're like, I, I, I'm doing this. I'm, you're focused. You're like, I'm committed. I love my role. I'm excited for where I'm at, but let's make this a little bit more fun. Yeah. I love it. Love, love it. Love everything about this reading. All right, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's look at that two of pentacles. What's kind of taking up all your time right now? I've already pre-shuffled and cut this deck. We have the king of wands again. Um, again, masculine fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a lot of you I'm connected to are on that cusp. Um, Virgo, Leo, cusp, page of swords, more people, ace of wands again, your power. So again, I feel like you have these like, I got an idea, boom, I'm gonna do it. I got an idea, boom, I'm gonna do it. You're very creative right now. You have a lot of energy. I feel like the sun in Leo is doing all of the best things for you right now. Um, it's, it's like your creative brilliance is what I'm hearing with that queen of swords, fire energy with your earth energy, creative brilliance. But we gotta start somewhere, we gotta be practical about it. <laughs> Love your energy. <laughs> What's this two of pentacles for you? A little overwhelming kind of energy. Five of cups. What's this two of, two of pentacles for Virgo, please? Got some water coming out. Okay, so you could be dealing with some emotional stuff. Oh, we have the king and queen of wands out. King and queen of, I'm sorry, the king and queen of cups out. We have the king and queen of wands. Now we're seeing the king and queen of cups. The Ten of Pentacles, this means so much to you, whatever this is right now. Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Well, no wonder you're feeling a little overwhelmed here. Look at that. Okay, coming out of a stage of grieving, of letting go. Boom, there seems to be a renewal and a connection and a relationship for a lot of you. Strong water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. This connection, this, this, whatever this is, means everything to you. Ten of Pentacles is legacy energy. I feel like there is a renewal and deepening a, a connection with somebody. Um, that could have been what this divine timing was about. We'll find out. Um, but I feel like there ha has there been some disappointments in the situation you're dealing with right now? Mm -hmm. Have you been really disappointed and man, that person really let me down in the past? Mm hmm but there's something about this queen of wands, 10 of pentacles. Um, wow. There are so many emotions between the two of you. I feel like you're reconnecting with some kind of soulmate or those of you, um, who have not been in separation. I feel like you and someone want to 10 of pentacles, man, I want to start that creative business with you. You and someone want to, um, start, I don't know, traveling, having more fun. Uh, This is beautiful energy. Strength cards happening in Leo season. I kept seeing three of pentacles. It's like you're building or rebuilding a situation. And I'm hearing and now it's fun for everybody. 
I feel like you've done a little work, someone else has done a little bit of work, and now it's fun for everybody. I love this. Let's look, look at what these big moves are right now, okay? King of Wands, this is what's crossing you. This is a, a person or situation that's helping you or hindering you. What's this King of Wands crossing? Emperor. Wow, talk about big mature moves. Well, there he is, Divine Masculine. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Sh no. no way, are you kidding me? I cannot. I was like, Emperor, that's cute. And then these other three cards just were like, we're also coming out. We've been talking about king and queen of wands, king and queen of cups. Kings and queens are great. They're mature. They know their stuff. They're in their, they're in their high vibe. But then we have the higher one. We have the divine masculine that popped out with justice, the wheel of fortune, which is in your hopes and fears. Boom, empress. This is like y'all ascending to kings and queens and to emperor empress. How do we do that? King of wands energy. We take action. We start... Uh, handling business, justice, wheel of fortune. It's time, it's time. This is double karma right here. I feel like you and someone right now are either coming back together, you, the masculine is in alignment, learn their lessons, and the more of the feminine has been through enough, okay? That's what I heard, the feminine has been through enough with the wheel, they've been up, they've been down, they've been up, they've been down. Feminine's been through enough, it's her turn as well. It's his turn. It's her turn, it's both of their turn. Boom, what's happening with this reading? It's his her. It's his turn and her turn. You know what I mean, it's, it's not gender specific. You could be dealing with male, male, female, female, doesn't matter, I'm just talking about a masculine and feminine energy here. One holds more masculine, one holds more feminine. Oh my God. King of Cups again, Five of Swords. This is a divine counterpart situation for a lot of you. For a small group of you, I'm almost seeing like the movie The Parent Trap where maybe you've been in a situation where you're either bringing two people back together or another family member or, or friend is someone trying to bring you and someone back together. And that could be anybody, you and a romantic person, um, you and a friend, you and a family member, but someone who feels very imper empress. It's like bringing mom and dad back together, bringing the family back together, bringing the something it's been time both sides have their karma karmic cards on here with the with the king of cups both you and someone might have learned a lesson recently some kind of partnership you're in now i've learned a lesson around king and queen of cups about um what love really is wow this i i've never seen i'm shocked okay let's move on this is a major divine counterpart. I'm like, anything else on this? Devil, two of swords, six of cups. Okay, so that's why this is a crossing energy because I feel like for some of you, you're asking yourself, is this person, this partnership, have they learned their lesson? Have I learned my lesson? That's the only hiccup here, the two of swords. So we'll get to that in your crowning energy. Why are you focused on the Hierophant high level commitment? Definitely marriage or just committing in a higher way. Do I believe in this? Virgo, why are you focused on the Hierophant? It's the keys. Two of Pentacles. You're like, yeah, it's a lot. Three of Wands. You're like, I've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this key. You've been waiting for this. You've manifested this. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's love for a lot of you or to be open, emotionally vulnerable with someone or for someone to be open and emotionally vulnerable with you, four of swords. Yeah, you've been waiting for this union here, eight of swords, seven of pentacles, five of swords. There's been conflict here. You've been waiting for someone to tell you how much they love you how much they want to open up to you or 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 be in a creative adventure with you 
or vice versa or you doing that for them. In the recent past, what's this temperance energy for Virgo? Um, card of Sagittarius, recent past. What's temperance here? A lot of healing, two of wands. Ooh, happy new contract, Virgo. Ten of swords, maybe after an ending. There's that king of cups. Yeah, king of cups, two of wands, nine of cups here. Some of y'all uh, slowly but surely are going from kind of single nine of cups, new contract into um, king of cups would be a relationship. So some of you are slowly going into a relationship or deepening your feelings for somebody. Lots of water energy around here. A water sign could be definitely having more feelings for you. Um, someone really trusted you. Someone really, um, oh my God. I think I'm being reminded of your of your reading from the past or from two readings ago where someone really needed you. Um, you could have been at someone's rescue. You could have just had the perfect word of a piece of advice. Um, you could have come and helped somebody but that really made a difference. Whatever that was for a lot of you, if that resonated and that was you, that made a difference. Two of wands, six of cups, because you helped a soulmate. You helped someone that you love and they love you. This just popped out, three of cups. I do feel like you've had a reunion with someone in the recent past, okay? Oh, and or it, it doesn't feel reunion. All of y'all, a lot of y'all will come at me and be like, I want back that's not what always reunion means okay reunion is like hey maybe you know you and that sibling or you and that family member hey i haven't really seen you in a while oh man it's it's really good to see you we were at the same oh we happen to be at the same restaurant we bumped into each other hey we got each other's number again and we're you know man we're gonna really work on this connection that's also a reunion you know what i mean okay <laughs> i do feel a strong reunion where there was Maybe someone felt alone and you were there for them to make them feel not alone or vice versa. Someone may, came in to help you and say, you know what, you're not alone. Now I'm hearing Michael Jackson, you're not alone, I am here with you. <laughs> Why is the two of swords crowning you? You're trying to make a decision, but you're like, I don't have all the information. Your card came out. You're in your investigator mode. You're like, hmm. Page of Wands, ah, uh, yeah, you're like, hmm, if I just, if I just try a little bit at a time, if I do it in moderation, it'll be okay, and I agree. I love whatever you're doing. You're like, um, Three of Cups. You're like, I want this reunion. I wanna be back with this person. I love connecting with them, this friend, this family member, this romantic partner, um, this coworker, this, you know, could be in a romantic situation for a lot of you as well. Let's please keep it general when we talk about people. Um, but for a lot of you, yeah, you're like, I've thought about it, hermit energy, you, page of wands is your outcome. I'm just gonna do a little bit a day. I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna jump all in, because if I jump all in, I might risk too much. And that's not you. You're not normally a big risk taker when it comes to, um, cause you know your worth. You know not to just like give it all away. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you're very smart with your moves but there's something right now where like, I really want something or I want something back. So I'm just, instead of going, boom, I'm just gonna go, hey. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying, is that making sense? Yes, two of swords, Virgo. Eight of swords, which is your future energy. Um, devil, I feel like you're being a little bit too cautious some of you could be a little bit too cautious with your moves right now kind of overthinking every single thing that you do every single thing that you say oh i'm connecting with this person then you come back home oh my god did i act like a fool why did i say that stupid little thing mm, don't do that to yourself either don't don't do that don't do that you're doing great all right let's see why you're in your head here <clears throat> eight of swords future energy you could be dealing with an air sign in the future nine of swords something's gonna keep you up at night and like you just keep thinking about it king of pentacles you seven of cups about an option that you have king of pentacles you and your masculine an option that you have you have the experience you have the wisdom you have the money you have the something to do it seven of pentacles star card 
what are you waiting on three of pentacles to rebuild again star card you do see whatever it is in the near future like you want to put your offer out in something or you want someone to put their offer into you but i feel like you're you're walking on eggshells you're like i don't want to mess up i don't want to mess this up i don't want the boss to be mad at me i don't want to mess up this deal so i'm just going to move very cautiously what's the advice for virgo on that because that's uncomfortable no that ah. what's the advice on that this is the most perfect advice we don't walk in fear we don't make decisions in fear we make decisions out of pure unconditional love i want to see that friend because i want to i want to invest in that home because i want to i want to move to that city because i want to I want to call up that old failure that I missed because I want to, not because I'm in fear, because I have to, because I'm getting a lot of projection energy. People telling me, you should, you should, you should, you should. Turn it on them. Well, then they should, they should, they should, they should, and you should focus on you. You know that already. You know that already. Some of you are kind of, walk I'm hearing you're walking on eggshells around something because you don't want to mess it up. I don't want to screw it up. You can't. You can't. I literally just heard from Dirty Dancing the time of my life song. Now what? I'm not going to sing it for you because y'all know I get embarrassed. I had the time of my life. You're having the time of your life and literally as those lyrics came in we're clarifying your power position your flex your energy in this ace of wands you're like yes let's do it i say yes to everything let's have fun as long as it has fun on it virgo's in that's your energy look what else came out when you do that look at what i said when you do that yes let's make it more fun yes i have to go to work but i'm gonna play my favorite song the whole way there Yes, I'm going to go, you know, have maybe this family obligation that I have to go to, but I'm going to wear my favorite outfit. I'm just going to be so fabulous doing it. Like, do you know, do you get the message I'm trying to say to you? When you do that, boom, you create fucking miracles around you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You call in the rest of your blessings, the things that belong to you, and people are picking up on that. Other people around you, okay? I feel like you're so inspiring um, yourself, it's, it's just adding on. You're like, yes, I'm going to add fun to that. I'm going to love this deeper. And that makes me want to invest. And I feel like you have so many creative ideas too. Like whatever you're doing, a lot of them too could be even like future investments. Okay. Future ways to make you money. Who doesn't love that? What's this ace of wands for Virgo? Why are you so... If we get the other ace, I'm gonna freak out. Okay, eight of wands, which is another cycle with the death card. So yeah, I do feel like you're you're telling everybody, you're, you're very open in communication here. Um, where something where maybe you were quiet or closed off about it, you're very open to it now. You're very much, this is eight of wands is my communication card, social media, like talking to people online, like that kind of vibe, like everyone can see all of your new beginnings now. Okay, you've been through a major transformation, Virgo. I love your vibe. Love what you're doing. Why is this nine of wands hidden from you? It could be a past life person or situation. It's also a person or situation that might have their walls up. Someone who's going through a lot. Star card, four of wands. Okay, four of cups. Knight of Swords, Four of Wands. This is someone who you've either been in a commitment with before or they want to recommit to you. That could be reunion energy for a lot of you. This person currently, Four of Cups, is bored in their emotional state. Um, but I feel like you're going to hear a message from them that they want to commit, be in a union with you. Um, star card, they, this person sees you as the star. They see you as the one. Um, someone wants to be a part of your, your team. What is this message about nine of wands? They're scared, there's been conflict, four of pentacles, but they wanna work things out. Yeah. This feels like an agreement, an agreement. Meet me, in, I'm hearing a meet me in the middle. Someone wants you to meet them in the middle here, okay? 
This wheel of fortune, why is this your hope and fear for things to get moving already? I heard, I heard you say, am I ready? Page of Pentacles, am I ready? Five of Wands. <clears throat> What's this Wheel of Fortune for Virgo? There's the other ace. There's the other ace. Hangman. Well, it makes total sense here. Hangman with the Ace of Swords and the Cups. If I stay, if I take it one day at a time, if I don't overwhelm myself, if I don't put all my eggs in one basket and just put one egg in the basket a day, one thing at a time, boom. I see that Ace of Swords. I, there's like a change of perspective, Ten of Cups. What's the truth here? Sun card. It makes you happy. Whatever this is, it makes you very, very happy here. Moving forward. Um, What's your change of perspective? Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah, you you want to be back in with someone. Um, For some of you, I'm picking up a, a kind of a funny message. Like if you were curious about something, um, for something to get moving forward, you're like, well, I would have loved to know what really happened in that situation. If some of, for a small group of you, I'm picking up that you've been looking for closure in a situation and that you might not get it, but you can move forward without it. And in fact, the wheel might move forward faster if you're not searching for closure that's what this is for a lot of you you're like you might not get the closure the ace of swords the the apology the epiphany the validation that you were looking for in a situation but you don't need it page of pentacles you can still process you can still move forward <clears throat> and whatever this is my throat keeps kind of going in and out here in this reading too and <clears throat> i feel like that's what this is, is you kind of want someone to speak up and validate you for something but you're like i don't need it regardless i can still move forward Okay, very interesting. Page of Wands outcome. This is you like Five of Pentacles. This is you just like doing it. Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups. You're making, yeah, it's gonna, this person's gonna grow on you or the situation's gonna grow on you. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. This is about a person, could be a water sign. Um, you're rolling the dice. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. I feel like you have been in separation from this person before or from whatever the situation is before. I feel like you've gone through a period of not talking, non-communication. But Page of Wands, Two of Cups. Let's see where this goes. Let's try it in a different vibe. I'm having fun now. Let's see what happens. Page of Cups, Nine of Wands. There's a lot of flirty, fun, playful energy coming in with whoever this is too. Okay, so very, very good, Virgo. That's your reading. I hope that y'all liked it. I love y'all so much. Happy early birthday. Let's do your pick a card. And then those of you that wanna join us for your love reading where we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Virgo that won the pick a card this time is Carrie Welty. Carrie, you are my winner. Okay, so Virgo, if you wanna pick your card, Next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for everything. And I'll see y'all next time more in the love reading. All right, Carrie. Cards did not want to go together even at all. Interesting. Carrie, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. There we go. got two more here spirit what are the best and highest messages for carrie welty um virgo energy all right girl ace of cups at the bottom of the deck can be done with the water sign but this is a new love a new cup um pisces cancer scorpio energy they're showing me the the dove and the 
the bread of Christ <laughs> that goes into the cup. You're trying to make, someone wants to, I'm hearing peace, make peace with you, new beginning, new emotional beginning with somebody, but someone wants it's more, it feels like, <sighs> let's make peace here. Peace offering. You, King of Pentacles, in your masculine energy, King of Pentacles came out. Spirit, what do we have for Carrie? King of Cups, Page of Cups. Ooh, people, people, people. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the King and uh, the Page. We have like the masculine and the baby here. Interesting. Wow, six could be significant. You're seeing, uh, if you're seeing six to six of pentacles, six of swords, seven of cups, ten of wands. Sun card, eight of pentacles, nice. Your hard work's about to pay off. You're about to be able to explore a new location, a new place in your life that you have never been before. I feel like, yeah, you're about to start, like, are you about to start traveling and, like, you're looking for someone to take care of your kid or, like, your house or something like that if you have an animal? That's what it feels like. It feels like you're being granted an opportunity to go either meet new people or travel for work or kind of just be out of your normal, like, day-to-day -day and you're able to just explore some options. You're getting the help for whatever that is. What's this King of Pentacles for Carrie, please? It's a relationship. Uh, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Uh, you might have been in a connection for a while. Ooh, World Card could be coming to an end. Four of Cups. I feel like you were either in a job for a long time and like the creativity is now gone or you've been in some kind of marriage or relationship for a long time. And it feels like the love was lost, something like that. Some a major cycle that you've been in for years. Seven of Pentacles or it's like seven years or more. Something you've been in for a long time is coming to a close or has. King of Cups. Eight of Wands. You might be um, like signing papers from a distance. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Legal action is, is taking is being taken in separate quarters is what I'm picking up on. Page of Cups, what about the kids? Eight of Swords. If there's kids involved, three of swords. I know this is a very classic thing to say, but if you're going through a divorce, especially if you have a water sign, they think it's their fault or something like that. If you have a child or, or young young ones around you and you're going through a breakup or separation, if you're leaving a long-term job, if there's a younger person around you, they think it's their fault. Eight of swords, three of swords, nine of wands, hermit. I'm like anything else on the, on the kid page. I think that's a clarification that it's a child. Or just someone just very young or immature around you. I'm also feeling if you're going through a breakup or a divorce or something like that and there aren't kids involved, the other person you're dealing with is acting like a kid and like delaying and stalling the situation as much as they can. Like I refuse to sign or I'm there, someone is making the, the, the process of the situation so much harder on you than, than necessary. Six of Pentacles. Oof. You feel financially restrained. Yeah. You feel like you're doing all of this alone now and you're stressed having to give. I feel like there is help coming. Yeah, that's what this is. There is help coming in this situation. What's the Six of Swords? Someone might be coming from a distance. Yeah, the Fool card. Someone wants a new beginning. Someone is coming. Cancer energy really quickly. Empress could be you going to like a mother or a mother energy coming to you. 
but I feel like there's a feminine here to help. That'll be a victory. Yeah, four of swords. Someone's coming in to help you, um, to lift you up. What are these options? Yeah, you're, you, haven't, you haven't started to build your full legacy yet. That's what's coming in here. That's what's coming in here. Page of Pentacles, Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. You're, you have to go through whatever this is because Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, you're about to put your offer into a new job or a new person, and that's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and say the one with these two cards, okay? Wherever it is that you just had to go through and it was painful, a breakup, divorce, or like leaving a long-term job situation, Ten of Wands, there was way too much responsibility burden on your shoulders. Carrie, someone, either a child or someone else you're dealing with is make, is like dragging this out and, and really getting the like emotional like stab here in you. Um, you're a little worried that you won't get the help that you need, but then you actually do. And then that turns around into a situation better than I think you could have even ever imagined here. Okay. Everything is working out for you is what it looks like. Okay. Sending you lots of love. If there's anyone else here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love ringer next time. Bye.